on guys, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Jordan MPL NGS system. Uh, this will be the same for the NG, NGS, the only difference between the two or just the body style. Look at aluminum, the NG, this is the NGS, the body. And when, we, when I first got this truck, I didn't really know how to operate it. So I'm going to go over the controls and how to operate the self auto stop. So it's going to be a good demonstration for everybody who's looking into buying a Jordan MPL NGS or the NG model. So I brought the remote, as you can see, the configuration here. There's going to be one for the boom to go up and down and one for the wheel lift to go come in and out. And these are supposed to automatically stop when you're folding and unfolding or moving the boom up and down. So when you're going up to a vehicle, you're not all of a sudden going too far down or hitting the ground, scraping it while you're taking it back. So let me get, give you a quick demonstration. And so just taking a quick look at the stock remote. This is going to be for the boom. These two buttons down here are going to be for the tilt out and in. This is for the winches. This is actually the wheel lift going in and out. And these are the L-arms for open and close. Also, you can't really, you, when you're on a job, you don't really want to carry an entire rope, entire cable all the way out of your truck truck. So what I did, I actually bought the loader. It's got all the same images and everything. You can ask for that. You get it customized. Same. All the buttons do the same thing as it does on the original remote. So when I'm not looking, I know which button does what. You can actually set this up yourself. I did. And I'll go over in another video how I actually set up this wireless remote. So when you're outside and you've got 100, 200 feet of winching to do, you can just, you know, be 200 feet out and just winching it. Or if you need to get it outside and take take a look at the vehicle, you can take a look and, you know, hook it up while you're right outside. So every function works. It's really handy to have. You always want an extra piece of remote just in case one breaks. These remotes aren't cheap, especially the stock remote is going to cost you a hefty price. So I'll le leave a link of the loader remote that we use and how to buy one. And we'll go over how to hook it up in another video as well. First off, we're going to tilt out. You're going to hit that tilt out button. It's going to automatically stop. You don't have to worry about anything. Just inside the cab. All you want to do is wait until it stops. If you keep reaching it down to try to figure out, okay, maybe now I'm level to the ground, you don't have to do any of that. Now, now you can see the wheel, the L arms are going to scrape on the road. So pull it back up, tilt it back in, up, and then back down, it'll auto, auto stop. There you go. You hear that? And we're gonna hit the boom down. We're gonna go down, auto level. You can hear it, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Up and down. And while I'm holding it, it's just gonna pause. You can just pause, you can hear the hydraulic trying to push it forward, it's gonna stop. And at this point, we can drive it back and forth underneath. If you take a look, there's like almost an inch amount of gap. So the wheel lift does not scrape as you're backing underneath until a vehicle. Push it out a little bit. You're good to go. The only has to be four to six inches down to tow a vehicle. So that's pretty much it. If any other questions, you guys can let us know, and we'll go over a few other demonstrations.